Oh, look at that. Those trees are gone too. My So by the time I get my nice house built, my view is going to be nothing but charcoal trees. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to keep working on our build. Um, but before we do that, I have um, two talent points and four tech tree points. So let's go with talents first. Um, we're going to... I'm going to try out wep, uh, guns. Um, so 25% uh, crafted rifle ammo resource cost. Reload speed of rifles and damage increase. We're going to start with the rifle because I think it's going to be the most useful for hunting. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should actually go with the shotgun. Uh, well, no, let's try Let's go with the rifle first. I, I don't know how good the pistol is, but what's this? Featherweight. Firearms weigh less than your inventory. Okay. Yeah, let's go with rifle reduction so that we can get rifle reload speed so that we can then get uh, damage with rifles uh, next time around. Okay, um, and again, I don't know how good the guns are in this game. So, but you know, this is all about experimenting and trying stuff out. So, um, we're gonna get the bolt action rifle and of course the rifle rounds, and we still have two points available. Um, I think I want to get. Would definitely like to get the recurve bow. So that's something to think about. Unless I really fall in love with the rifle and stop using the bow. <laughs> Probably not, though. The canteen would be super useful at this point. To the point where we're going to get it without even thinking about it. And that still gives us one more point available. And uh, where is that dehumidifier? Okay, this thing. But we need to make that seal glass, copper, epoxy. Oh, electronics. I don't know how to do electronics. So that's not something we're going to be able to get here and now. Because we probably have to learn electronics. Yeah, we have to learn electronics. And we don't have enough points to do that and get the other thing. So why don't we... Why don't we go... Uh, I... I'm in the caves a lot mining, and I, that pneumonia just sucks. So we could get the medicine for that. Um, or, or we could get the thermos, because the thermos would allow us to make, like, coffee and hot cocoa and stuff like that. I mean, there's so many good things we could get, you know what I mean? So it's hard to decide, really. But let's, uh, let's upgrade our bow. Let's go to the recurve bow. It's done. Okay. So... Now we have to figure out what we need to make all this stuff. I think I'm going to have everything. Let's start with uh, the rifle. So um, I'm assuming we craft out of the machining bench. Yes, we do. Okay, so this is all we're going to need to make this. So let's get some steel and epoxy and some leather and wood. We know we're going to need all of that. Um, so I've got 11 epoxy in here, so let's just grab all that. Oh, I'm going to grab um, this tree sap too. And we're going to make a bunch of concrete. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it in this prospect, but uh, I want to make it for the XP and so that we have it, you know, in case we decide we do need it at some point. Okay, so let's just queue up a metric butt ton of this stuff. And get some XP. You know, I've been farming silica and stone and all that. And, uh, okay, so we got that going. Now, uh, let's put the epoxy in here. We need steel, wood, and leather. So, uh, I got a new cabinet here where I, with all my ores and ingots in it. So, let's grab, like, a couple stacks of that. We're going to need aluminum, too. So, we'll grab a couple stacks of aluminum. And we'll go over here and we'll grab a stack of leather... And this wood here. Deposit all of this into here. Okay, now uh, we just need 10 screws. So let's craft one thing of that, which gives us 100 screws. And, oh, we need, we need more steel ingots. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. 
Uh, let's grab another stack of steel. Alright, now we can craft the rifle. Okay, so for the rifle rounds... Oh, you know what? I need gunpowder. <laughs> oh shit, I don't think I learned gunpowder. Oh man, that happens to me every time. I'm missing one thing, so I have to wait for the whole next level. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Uh, we probably got that in tier two, I'm guessing. Let's see. Why? Yeah, why we got it in tier two, God only knows. When we can't use firearms until tier three, but that's the way this game works. Well, you know, the good thing about this is I, I have a buttload of charcoals, um, you know, that I've just been storing. And uh, so we'll be able to make this uh, quite a bit of this stuff when the time comes. And of course, the sulfur's easy to get. Well, okay, I guess we won't be doing <laughs> the rifle until the next level. We are getting pretty close to it, though. All right, so let's take a look at the bow next. Um, so the recurve bow is going to need more epoxy and some rope. Okay, so let's go back down here. And what do we need to make more epoxy? We need tree sap. Oh, shit. Um, let's, let's grab some of that tree sap back. Oh, it looks like it wasn't going to use all of it anyway. Okay, so, and then, uh, epoxy. Yeah, let's just make four of those, I guess. I got a bunch of sulfur, actually, in here. So let's grab a couple more stacks of that. We're going to need that for the gunpowder, too. So I'll have to go do a, a sulfur mining trip, I think. Okay, that'll get us some epoxy, baby. Okay, that gives us 20, 21 for now. So we'll put this in there. Okay, what else are we missing? Oh, just rope. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of rope made up uh, in here. So let's um, split the stack and we'll take half of it up to the machine bench here. There we go. Okay, let's make the recurve, or yeah, whatever this bow is. Recurve bow, is that what it is? Uh, yeah, recurve bow. And it looks like it's a composite bow too. Okay, so that means we can retire our long bow. This does 50% projectile damage. This does 25. So yeah, we're gonna get some serious extra thing here now um i've been using the crossbow i've been enjoying the crossbow but now that we have the recurve bow the problem with the crossbow and the bow at the same time is that it takes up two more inventory slots so uh, i tried out the crossbow i do like it and we may use it in the future but we're going to retire the crossbow and we're just going to use uh and the bolts and we're just going to use the uh, normal bow or the recurve bow moving forward especially since we're also gonna we'll, we'll place the rifle in slot too when when the time comes all right look at this thing man nice uh what kind of arrows can we well we're not gonna be able to make new arrows until uh until the next level so let's place place the long bow in here so if I'm reading things right, this bow basically does twice as much damage as the longbow. fan frickin tastic And we get some good arrows in it, too. So let's go to tech tree again. Um, crafting, no, tech tree. Tier 3 arrows. So what's available to us? Arrow-wise. Um, aluminum arrows. Or carbon arrows. We would need carbon fiber to make these. That's 25% critical damage, 10% projectile break chance. Or an 81 to 90 damage just in general. This is 72 to 80 damage. Um, Alright, so carbon fiber that is gonna be where is that at? Is that also in tier 2? Seems to me like that should be in tier three. So we could also do steel arrows, right? Flint arrows. Oh, maybe not. I guess there isn't steel arrows. Crushed bone. 
Uh, oh, carbon paste. I bet you we, well, hmm, I wonder if we have to learn that to do the gunpowder anyways. We probably do. And then the carbon paste will probably open up carbon fiber if I could figure out where the hell it's at. Carbon fiber. Da, 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 platinum. That's medical stuff. Oxygen tanks. Bear bottle. Oh, what kind of armor is this? This is hunter armor. Lightweight camouflage reduces visibility to wildlife. So is this like ghillie suit kind of thing? Because that's not as good as our leather. Our leather gives us eight physical resistance, I think. Yeah, eight physical resistance. Okay, so interesting. Interesting, man. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm sure carbon fiber's in here somewhere, but we can't get it right now anyway, so there's no point in continuing to look for it. I'll look for it later. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, what are we doing? We can't do anything more with the guns until we get gunpowder, so let's get to building here. Let's get to building here. Uh, so, let's see. Let's grab stuff out of here. Um, looks like I need to take care of my food and all that stuff so let's see let's eat a fruit salad and a creamed corn okay that takes care of that let's get some o2 out of here and we'll go drink some water i was talking to one of you guys in the comments about a bit uh, the water skins and it seems to me this could be pure just good luck RNG stuff, but it seems to me like with those water skins in my inventory, I don't get the parasite very often. I mean, it still happens, but it's very, very rare that I get it. I mean, I've only noticed it happen maybe twice in, I mean, I don't know, in, in as long as I can remember since I've had those water skins. So... I don't know, if, if that's an actual thing, let me know. I, I tried to look it up, and I didn't find anything that said, that, you know, confirmed that, but it just kind of seems that way. Or maybe I'm just really damn lucky, I don't know. Any hoozle. Uh, okay, so let's go out and look at what's going on out here. Now, if I was inclined to do this build over, which I'm not because this is all temporary... I might have, you know, what I did was I, I I set the building up kind of in parallel with this rock base. And I think that was a mistake. I should have pointed it out that way just for a better view. And I want to acknowledge that to anybody who's thinking the same thing. But because, again, this is a temporary situation. I mean, we're not going to be here forever. Um, I think we're just going to leave it the way that it is now and just, you know, finish out the build the way that it is now. Um, because, well, here's the thing. I could redo this. I'd have to pick up everything, store it away, and rebuild it. Which, I guess that wouldn't be a super major problem. It would just take time on my part. We'd get everything back. And then we rebuild it so that it's pointing that direction. Because I just, I, I think it looks a little weird, especially if you're looking at it from out here. Um, It just, I don't know, I, I think it should be facing towards the far end of the lake. I don't know. Nah, let's let's not. Let's just build it and be done with it because this is temporary. Because this is a, a prospect that we're not going to um be on for you know forever, right? Ah hell. If we're gonna do it, let's do it right. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I'm gonna pull all that shit back up and um we're going to start over. Okay, so I'll 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 be back. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, man. 
All right, guys, we are back, um, and I have pulled everything up and rearranged it uh, so that it's pointing towards the far end of the lake, and I think uh, I think I'm going to like this a lot better. So let's uh, take a look at the angle of it from out here. Because I just, uh, it, it didn't look right, you know, for it being off to the side there. So it could even maybe arguably be a little further over this way, but I think it's good enough. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Besides, you know, the end of this lake isn't an absolutely perfect curve anyway. So uh, I think that's much improved. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, before we continue with the build here, um, I have uh, had, and maybe some of you have noticed this, some problems in the last few videos with um, performance in the game. Um, it's been... Uh, it's not so much of a, a frame rate issue as it's kind of a freeze choppy type of issue that's happened in the game. And so I finally, um, after I left you guys earlier uh, on the last recording, I finally took some time and tried to do some optimization. And I think I've improved uh, the situation here in the game, uh, both, you know, for the frame rates and reducing the little freezes and stuff that I kept happen, uh, having. rather. And so... If you're interested, I followed loosely followed uh, a YouTube video, and I'll po post the link to that in the description of this video. And uh, I'm running an older 1080 card, um, and so there's that too. Uh, so if you're interested in the settings that I have, I will show them to you. Um, so basically, I'm in full screen mode. I have a, a 2K monitor, so I have that set to 1440. Um, this is... These are my settings here for video. And then if we go down further on quality, I've got the view distance set to high because I absolutely cannot stand video games that have short view distances and pop in the LOD too soon. It's still not ideal for me, but it's, you know, it was a compromise. Uh, this low LOD bias, uh, that's level of detail, um, seems to help a lot too with the, with the freezing. So if this is set all the way to the left, then what that means is that you're going to have more detail on objects further out. Um, and if you set it all the way to the right, then you have to get up really close to an object before its full detail comes into effect. And so um, I don't like it all the way to the to the right because then, you know, I'm running towards like, for example, a berry bush and it's all, you know, low detail until I get right up to it and then it pops in, which isn't very realistic. Um, but if I have this turn all the way to the left, it seems to cause a little bit more of the, you know, kind of micro freezing issue that I've had. So, you know, I'm compromising with this and putting it right in the middle and calling it good. And fortunately, this is something you can adjust without having to restart the game. I have post processing on high and shadows on high. Normally, I would not necessarily have shadows set so high on a game, but it makes a big difference in this game because if you set the shadows lower, they just look terrible. Um, so both of those are high. Max shadow cascades, I set to three. If I have these lower than three, then the shadows just look really jagged and, you know, and they, they look terrible. So, you know, again, uh, I know I'm using a lot of uh, processor cycles, frames, whatever you want to call it, by turning these shadow things up. But for this particular game, you have to do that, at least on my particular machine, in order to get the shadows not to look absolutely terrible. Uh, textures are set according to my eight gigabyte memory uh, 1080 graphics card um so it tells you on the right what to set that to based upon the memory of your video card uh streaming texture pool size is uh set i, I could actually set this to 4500 but i actually have it to 4000 that seems to work pretty good um and this also is supposed to help reduce texture popping too um let's see effects are set to medium foliage is set to high because it just looks terrible to me uh without you know, dense the grass density in there. It's not so much because I care about the grass, it's because the ground below it can really look bad and it just it's better to have the grass covering it. Uh, shading is low. Um, this actually only is supposed to affect hair shading anyway, so like hair on bears and whatever. So who cares about that? I mean, it's not like you're going to be looking at bears all the time. Um, anti aliasing is, is set to epic because that also in conjunction with the shadows 
if these aren't set high, then the sh then you you know you get that real bad uh, grainy look in the game. Uh, plus the fact that this is actually uh, disabled anyways because of the fact that I have a setting later on I'll talk about in a second. Uh, simple building shadows is on. Uh, I have I want lighting effects because it does make the game look much better. Tessellation is on. Uh, that makes you know the the ground. Um, Gives it gives a little more you know features and that sort of thing, height variation, surface details, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then volumetric crowds are off. I don't spend my time looking at the sky, so there's no point in having those on because that can be quite an, uh, an impact. Uh, player light shadows uh, are on, so that means you know if I'm walking in front of something and there's a light source behind me, that you see a shadow because it's realistic. And then uh, I have this set to PCF because. You want this on PCF if you're not using DLS, which I absolutely am not because my card can't handle it. Okay, so this AMD Fidelity FX, this is something I hadn't considered until I watched that video. Um, you can actually use this even when you have NVIDIA cards, and it does um, uh, it does actually help make the game you know run a little bit smoother. So I have mine set to actually to quality, um, but this is a thing that if you turn on, then you, you it disables anti-aliasing up here. So anyway. Uh, those, that's just for those of you who are interested in what I have set for my 1080 graphics card, uh, 8 megabyte 1080 graphics card for this game. Uh, and it seems to improved. It's not perfect, um, but it has improved, you know, my frame rate. Uh, the game still looks pretty good. I, I, I'd prefer to have, you know, further, a little bit further draw distance than I do, but, you know, that's just going to you know make it's a, it's a basically a sacrifice between quality and performance i mean that's what it always boils down to in these games yeah and you know i am running an older card the game obviously would run better on a newer card i can afford to buy a newer card but i just don't want to spend the money because they're they're super super inflated right now as most of you probably know so we're going to try and make this work but hopefully you know moving forward our you know the videos will be a little a little bit better quality performance wise than they have been over the last episodes okay we got that out of the way. Now, let's get back to building here. Uh, so I'm going to set another uh, foundation right over this piece of terrain there. And actually, we're going to just run the foundations all the way back. And we'll put them down all the way to the uh, to the bottom of the lake there. Um, so let's go grab some more foundations. There's a wolf. There's a wolf on our property. That is not allowed. Shoot him with our recurve bow. Oh, wow. This bow, you can tell that it's it's got a much faster and flatter trajectory. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, I'm going to have to... Actually, I'm going to rearrange some things. I'm going to put my knife in one and my bow in two. Because I'm no longer carrying the crossbow. Oh wait, we were gonna we're gonna put the rifle in three though. Okay, yeah, we'll put the rifle rifle in three when the time comes. You messed with the wrong old guy there, Wolf. It's like we need to get some water. Okay. Get a drink there. Um, uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know. Um, we rebooted our multiplayer series in this game, and we basically set a rule that anybody that plays has to remain at the same level as everybody else, so people can't get on and level way up and get all the good stuff while the rest of us can't play kind of thing. So that way, you know, things stay congruous, you know, throughout the playthrough. So if you're interested, um, that is, uh, actually, by the time you guys see this video, I will have already... Uh, live stream that probably a couple of times, but um, just let you know if you want to see uh, OG play this game in multiplayer style, and we're having a lot of fun with it. So there you go, a little public service announcement. Let's make some more creamed corn. The other thing we're doing too is we're all we're all trying to have uh, roles. So for example, I'm like the medic and the in the cook. And then uh, another guy is, you know, taking care of all of our weapons. Another guy's taking care of our building, that sort of thing. So that way, you know, we can take better advantage of all the, the points. Uh, all right. So let's see here. 
did do we need to eat yeah we could just so this these two don't go bad all right uh let me check my melons too yeah that one's about ready to go we just just got it planted i i wish that the game would not have the crops spoil while they're in the crop plots every other game that has you know farming does not spoil the produce and when it's in the crop plot and, and i know it kind of makes sense though that it does i suppose but it's one of those things where you have a balance between realism and fun gameplay so anyway that's one of the things on my wish list for this game i have several other things like being able to sort containers too but they're still working on it, so who knows what kind of changes they'll eventually make. We only got two watermelons out of the whole damn thing. All right, well, whatever. That's what we got. That's what we got. Um, I really, you know, the more I think about it, too, I should pull everything out of here and just do nothing but grow watermelons. I don't need to grow berries. They're so easy to get. Uh, well, no, I, I take the back. I should grow watermelons and corn, even though corn's easy to get, too. But in order for me to get corn, i got to run way the hell over there, whereas I could just grow it right here. So... I might do that. I don't know. The thing is, is once we get thermoses, you know, then we can make coffee and hot cocoa. I'm not sure. I think soybeans are used for some kind of a stir fry recipe, if I remember right from our multiplayer game. Oh, that reminds me. The pot belly stove uh, is completely incorrect in its description. Um, this is actually like a, a grill that you can use to make certain dishes. It has nothing to do with with heating i mean maybe it does that too but that's not what it's for so we we actually should probably make this uh too because then it'll open up some more dishes for us uh okay anyway we have we got to get back to building man that's what we're supposed to be doing right now uh so let's get into here um i'm gonna grab these stone beams out of here uh we already have some in our inventory too and let's grab the floors and then we need to get some more foundations going um let me go out here and take a guesstimate on how many more I think we're going to need. So probably one, and then maybe two there, and probably three there. Six. Let's just make ten more in case I miscounted or we need them for something else. Okay. Oh, we need more iron nails. There are wolves around, so we should probably close the door. All right, let's grab a stack of iron ingots and put those in here. And then just make 200 iron nails. I don't remember how many they want per foundation, so we'll make, a, we'll make 50 and then we'll transfer those over and start making them here. Okay, so I said 10 more of these, right? Oh, four is the max we can make. Uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be the nails. Okay. Well, this should let us make eight then, right? Which is what I thought we needed. So let's make eight, and then if we need to make more, we certainly can. We got the resources. Okay, while that's happening, let's go back out here for a minute. Now, I don't, you know, the first time I built this, I put, like, pillars in every single spot. And I don't think we actually need to do that. So, um, this is just a temporary building that I used to store, you know, some extra stuff. But I didn't want to leave it out in the open, so a storm took it out. Uh, but this, you know, this is going to be our back porch area, so this will be open. So the wall's actually going to start right here. Um, do I have walls in here? Yes, I do. Let's grab those. Okay, so... We're going to have a wall here, but it's not going to be a doorway. It'll probably probably actually be a window. Um, so let's make it a window. And then this is going to be... See, here's the other thing, though. i gotta, I got to figure this out. We're making it up as we go, people. Do I want... To go out further this way too with an overhang i think i do okay so if that's the case then i think i want this to be the window here a 
Okay, and then we're going to make these just solid walls. I could do the... I guess we could try the double window, actually. Yeah, that might be better off out here where the, we have the view. Yeah, so let's just make this a normal wall here. And this can be a normal wall. And this can be a normal wall. And then we're going to do over... Uh, like an overhanging porch uh, from there. So this can also be a normal wall. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, let's go back and get our foundations. So this is going to be an overhang here. And of course, we're going to have to hang out in the house while this lightning thunder and lightning storm is messing with us so um yeah i guess i'll just wait here guys and i'll bring you back after the storm's done okay looks like the worst of the storm is over don't have to worry about anything getting zapped around here because everything's already destroyed oh look at that those trees are gone too my so by the time i get my nice house built my view is going to be nothing but charcoal trees <laughs> oh well whatever um, let's see, we need to also extend uh, this out here, like so. Okay. Uh, now, let's get the rest of these foundations in. So that's going to go all the way down to there. And this one's going to go, uh, yeah, just one there, I guess. And two there. All right, so actually we only needed six, which is fine. And then that's gonna be a flat piece. Very good, all right, what's left in, oh! How did, what? How did that get destroyed? Because the door was open? That doesn't make sense. That's weird, man, I don't know. Well, anyways, let's, let's actually take this back down anyway. Uh, that door, well, I gotta flip the wall around, so we're gonna have to pick up the door no matter what. Because the wall's going the wrong way. That I can't believe that got destroyed inside of this stone hut. That's just bizarre, man. That is bizarre. Okay, so I'm trying to think here. Yeah. So we just need to put this wall here turn it into a doorway and then put the door back in place there we go okay cool so that takes care of the back wall and like I said this is our porch we might put some rails up back here uh, if I want to spend points on that I guess points are really precious in this game so you have to be very judicious about how they are spent. Let's go ahead and stick this there. Okay, so now the rest of this build going out that way is going to be over platforms. Uh, but I'm not going to put as many pillars in as we did the first time around. Okay, so that gets us uh, one platform out. Um, so I guess the next thing I need to figure out is how wide I want the building to be. We were talking about a narrower bottom floor and a wider upper floor for this particular build. Um, let me look at something in here. So this is a three wide place. So if we made the bottom floor three wide, we could put crafting stations all along both sides. Yeah, I think I think that'll work. I think three wide's good. I like that. Okay, so that means then we're gonna want a wall here. A window there and a wall here okay 
And then, yeah, that'll be a window. So let's do the same thing over here. Well, we're going to run out of walls. I got more making up. So that'll also be a wall. Okay, so if this is going to be three wide, then the upper floor is going to actually be a five wide, uh, going both directions. And so then the next question is how much further out do we want to go? I'm thinking probably just one more will be fine uh, this way. And this will be kind of like our front deck. I'd love to make it out of wood because I because I think it would look really cool, but obviously the game's not going to uh, let us do that without causing some damage. Um, let's get a few more of the ceiling pieces and some more of these walls I'm making up. Okay, so we'll put the foundations back. And I guess I need to make some more ceilings? Yeah, I guess we do. Okay. So how many of these can we make? Eight. Let's craft those up. I want to take two more out with me. To finish that other corner. Okay. All right. We're a bit encumbered, but that's all right. We can deal with it. Let's go around this way. Close the door. We weren't born in a barn. And as you can see, I got a lot of wood and stone stockpile up here that we can throw in there to keep making more pieces. So back here, we'll probably just put either a ramp or a stair in, uh, which I have to, you know, have to learn points for. Oh, shit. I guess we have more than just two more to go here. All right, well, let's uh, let's put some more walls up to try and lighten ourselves up a bit here. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a wall. Um, now, here's where we might try the double window thing. But i got to think about the center pieces here. So that'll probably just be another single door. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's ch make this a door. And then we could have like the double windows next to the door. Okay, so if we're going to do that, let's just make these corner pieces walls. And then we'll do the double window thing here. Oh. No, 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 no. Um, we got to get it to flip the other way. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Is it pointing? No. Oh, how do we do that, actually? I think... Oh, you know what? It's probably a different piece. Right, okay. So let's put this one in. And then... It's, yeah, it's this piece here. Okay. There we go. There. That gives us a nice double window to see our view out there. I'm liking it. And this is going to be a single window piece. Here and here. Okay. Cool. So now we just got to finish out our deck here. And then we're going to put a few pillars in. I also need to make, uh, I'm going to make a couple of ramps for now. What are we, we need more iron nails. Okay. You know what? We probably, I'm going to, I don't want to use up all my iron, but we're, I'm going to have to go mining again anyway. So let's uh, turn all of these into iron nails. So that'll give us 360. We just had a storm, you stupid game. I kept saying that on the multiplayer server, too. It's like, come on, game. All right, let's make two of these. And then um, let's grab these. Are, are you crafting? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Sometimes I hit the max button instead of the craft button. I don't know why I do that, but I do sometimes. So we've got a pretty decent supply of wood and stone it's the nails it's we're running short on so yeah I'm gonna have to go do some iron mining okay what I want to do with the ramp here is um, put it let's make sure it's a ramp and then I want to put it here like so 
And then, well, like I said, I'm planning on putting rails along here once I, once I learn them. There we go. I like that. I like it. Okay, so now let's do this and this and this. Is there any... There's no variation of these whatsoever, like no curved pieces. So it's, it's, it's all going to be square, man. That's all there is to it. It's going to be square. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to learn some rails um, for this build to look right. We're just going to have to do it. All right, let's grab our pillars here. And what I want to do now is uh, we're going to pillar the corners of the corners. Uh, yeah, let's put that on there so we can bring this down. And then I'm going to take, well, am I going to take that top piece off? I don't know. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. Let's get the other corner done. I'm not planning on building anything out over the top of... Is that a P-Runner? Yes, it is. Uh, there you go, buddy. Okay. Um, oh, I thought he was a P-Runner, too. Any more P-Runners coming after us? No. Um, I'm not planning on building anything over the top of this overhang in terms of something that it would need to support. Come on, get down there. There we go. And there, and looks like we are going to have to put one underneath it because it's not quite... Uh, oh, how do I get that to do that? I can't get it to go all the way down. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. So that gives us those supports. Now... Um, if we put one here, so that's three that way, then we go one, two, three, and one there, three that way. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, so put one there, and put one... there, and then we bring these down here, and then then it's going to be evenly spaced. Oh, we got zapped by a piranha. You know what? You bite me, I bite you, you little bastard. Okay. And then let's do this one. Uh, we need some air, don't we? Come on, snap, and snap. There we go. So that gives us, uh, that should give us an even distribution of the pillars, and I think that looks good. Are you a poison fish? Yes, you are. And you are, too. They all just decided to give me stacks of poison, little bastards. It's all right. Uh, in fact, I think I have a anti-poison paste right here. There. That basically cuts the duration of the poison in half and gives me a 15% health regeneration rate. So it's really, it doesn't cure it, it just counters it, basically. Alright, I'm liking the look of this. I think we're good to go with that. I'm not worried about this storm. By the time our storm exposure gets all the way up. The worst part of it should be over, so screw that storm. Uh, I'm wondering if we... Hmm. More for aesthetics than any other reason. I'm wondering if we should put some posts along the side, too. So if we were to do that, um, how would we do that? All right, what if we went over here? Wait, what? Oh, that's not what I want you to do. What are you doing, man? 
I want you to get there. And you know, that is actually not even necessary. Let's just not even do that. Okay. Um. Problem here is I'm not going to be able to put one evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, I could put one evenly if I stick it here, huh? Fucking little fish. We need a we need a repellent. A piranha fish repellent in this game. Alright, so um yeah, if we're gonna do this, then it's gotta go right here. Come on. Snap. Snap on there. Uh, it. There we go. And there, and th there. What? No. Wait. Did that go in there? I heard it go kathunk thunk but I don't know where it went. Oh, r right here? Yep. <laughs> Weird, man. Okay. So, there. That's where I want you to go. Yeah, I think that works. It's not necessarily lined up evenly with the house, but it's lined up evenly with the, the deck. Which is the more important part. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is come along here and take these top pieces down. I kind of like the top pieces, actually. We could leave those there, actually, and have like an upper... A little upper walkway. Yeah, maybe we will do that. Here, let's put that back. Maybe we will do that. And we'll put rails in between here. Okay. Um, here, we got more of these okay so we'll put that there and we also get need to get the ones in on this side um, so we, we'll want one there no not there uh, one two three there not this one here okay now let's get these in down below Okay, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. What you have to do is point at the bottom of the pillar and then just move the cursor up a little bit. Yeah, I know, we just got bit again. It, it's pretty good about um, snapping. Uh, the, I'm, I'm super impressed with this game, the building in this game. It's amazing. Probably some of the best building I think I've ever seen in a game. Okay, are we good? Are we good? Getting a bunch of fish for dinner, I guess. You know, an interesting thing, this is not at all a big deal, but it's just kind of funny to me. The fish in this water looks to me kind of like a tuna fish which is a saltwater fish on earth the fish you would see in a mountain lake are going to be trout and pike you know those kinds of fish like northern north american cold water fish and none of the fish in this in these waters look anything like that they look like saltwater fish except for the these guys which definitely do look like piranhas well sort of if you look closely at them they really don't so, so my point is, why does the water have all these weird, exotic, non-typical fish, but the animals are typical? 
like the bear and the wolf that you would find in a North American forest. And the, and the, well, I don't know about the bison so much, but it's just weird. I don't know. Seems a little inconsistent. <laughs> I'm not, you know, again, I'm not making a big deal out of it. It's fine. It's just funny. That's all I'm saying. All right. Look at that. We got 20 raw fish out of the deal. And lots of poisons. Lots of poison bites. Those bastards. Okay. Let's put that in there. And I think, guys, it's time to wrap up this episode. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot more building until I get more iron. Um, I mean, we got we got all of these, so I can do a little bit more building. But the, the other problem, of course, is that it's dark anyway. So I think I'm going to let you go here. <clears throat> and I'm going to... Uh, oh, you know what? We got new points. Let's do those before I let you go. Here's what I'm going to do on the build. I'm going to put in a roof. And then on the upper floor, the upper floor is going to gonna be five wide instead of three wide. So it's going to have overhangs. And I, I'm going to get that in place. And then I'll probably bring you guys back you know, after that, you know, to get the roof in and and then, you know, the actual move into the base too. So that is, I think that's the plan. But before we, before I let you go, let's go back into our starter house here. Take a hit of O2 and refill this guy. Let's also eat. I am out of fruit salad. That's that's sad. That is a very sad, sad state of affairs. Yes, it is. Here, let's put those down there. Um, do we have watermelons? No, they're not quite ready yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, let's look at our points here. So for talents, we've got one point available. We were looking or working on combat stuff and we're going and we're working on rifles. So we want to get down to damage with rifles, but it looks like, do I need to take more points in this first? Is that what the deal is? I don't know. Since this is a bolt action rifle, reload speed actually is going to be a thing. So, all right. Well, we'll keep working towards uh, damage with rifles. And then uh, what we have to do here is we have to get gunpowder. Okay. And that is here. So let's learn this. Crushed bone I learned on the multiplayer game that uh, is you can use for epoxy. But we have another way to make epoxy. We need the herbalism bench to make bread. Oh, right. We have the leather backpack, which will give us more slots and carry weight. I, I think I want that. There's just so many things that we need, you know. Um, but reinforced railing. We really need this for our build. We just have to have this for our build. So I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to want to do stairs. You know what, though? We could do wood stairs, because the stairs I'm planning on using are just going to be indoors. Um, and the only reason I would do that is is for just for aesthetic reasons. Because it's just going to look better. <sighs> it just means, though, that we have a weaker type of stair. But you know what? What the hell? We're going to do it. That might have been a mistake. But I don't care. We're doing it anyways. All right. <laughs> okay, now we can start making gunpowder. So, um, uh, let's see. Steel bloom. <coughs> gunpowder is here. So, we need sulfur and charcoal. And my word, do I have a bunch of charcoal in here. So, let's grab like four stacks of this. And we'll put that in there. And how much sulfur do I have? that much. So we're going to have to go out and get iron and sulfur. Well, let's start making gunpowder. 
Max 100 craft. Okay. Wow, that takes a long time. Okay, so then once we have some gunpowder, uh, then we can make rifle rounds. We're going to need iron ingots for that too. So another reason why we... Wait a minute. Why are there two different recipes? That's one one. <clears throat> this is four four. So this means just we just make them in bulk. Four seems oh we make them in five five at a time. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotcha. Cool. Alright guys, so we should be able to start using our rifle now. Uh, that's gonna go in slot three. Let's take a look at it. Oh, so it doesn't actually have a scope on it, huh? Here, let's get back down here where we have a little more light. So this is more like a pipe rifle than an actual hunting rifle, like a Remington Model 7 kind of thing. Okay, well, fair enough. It's kind of cool looking, though. I like it. I like it, man. All right. Very good. So, people, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. I'm going to go out, gather iron, gather sulfur, um, and um, work on the base up to the point that I told you I was going to. And then when we get to that point, I'll bring you back for the next episode. And we will proceed from there. See ya.